I'm Joanna, your walk to coach, and in this video I want to do some troubleshooting for you. Do you ever experience discomfort in your shins down the front of your leg? Now if you do, I'm going to share with you some common reasons why that might be happening and tips on how you can solve that situation. So number one reason why it might happen is actually your choice of footwear. And what I mean by that is it may be that your choice of footwear is actually quite narrow. So when you're going to try to use your foot and feel the breadth of your foot, you're a little bit restricted. And this then puts tension in the foot so you can't actually have correct biomechanics. If you combine that with then having laces that are really really tight that is actually going to restrict the natural flow and movement through the foot. So opt for a shoe that's got a nice wide toe box and that's flexible and also obviously you want to make sure that your foot is secure in your shoe but actually at the top part of your laces you may want to have those a little bit looser so you haven't got any restriction. Second reason why that might be happening is because you're actually trying a little bit too hard. And what I mean by that with walk active, because everything's happening in the back foot as you peel off that back foot to get more movement in it, it may be that you're trying to force it. And as soon as you start to put tension into the foot, it actually has a knock-on effect with the actual uh, muscles at the front of the shin in the lower leg. So let me explain that to you. If you actually hold up your arm for me like this and you make a tight, tight fist, so you feel that your fist is tight and then you feel your forearm, you'll notice that the muscles in your forearm are really tight as well and tense and that's because of all the muscle and the ligament action that's happening in the hand goes all the way down into the forearm and it's exactly the same in the foot if you have tension in your foot you'll actually find that the musculature around the lower limb becomes very tense and stiff as well and that can obviously contribute to lower um, limb discomfort and you can feel quite tense so if that is happening what I would encourage you to do is before you start your walk active revisit some of your ankle mobility exercises make sure you do a calf stretch come through onto your toes mobilize and really warm up your feet and check that you're nice and relaxed and when you're actually doing your sessions if you feel that you start to grip your toes a little bit just check that you can wriggle your toes you can feel the breadth of your foot maybe stop take a couple of deep breaths and then build up again remember less is more and sometimes when we try too hard we can actually put tension into the body okay the third reason it may happen is actually when we are walking we're actually landing quite heavily with the front foot so here's an analogy that may just work for you. So if you imagine that you are walking down this direction here and on the path I've actually got loads and loads of eggshells and as I'm walking rather than actually walking over the eggshells and being heavy with my front foot and squashing them so they become powder I actually want to lift up through my body and keep the eggshells in their intact in their existing shape and this will give you more relationship from the foot all the way through the body and feeling lifted rather than jarring down through the foot which again can cause lower um, limb discomfort. Okay so give there's a go see how you go and just make sure also that you just keep your ankles nice and mobile and think about sometimes where you actually walk because another thing that I've obviously observed with clients is if you find that you jump in a car to go to your favorite destination to walk and then you get out um, going from sort of having your feet in a very fixed position when you've been driving your car and then going into an open ankle that can often be a little bit of an extreme range of motion in a short period of time so take time again and mobilize your ankle uh, before you actually get into a nice steady rhythm with your walk active and that will be much more beneficial and you'll also find that if you, that's a very similar situation if you're spending a lot of time seated at your desk and obviously you're seated so your ankle's very closed off and then you're asking a lot of movement and sometimes the concept can be quite straightforward but we can be a little bit like oh I'm so going to do that but masses of movement in my ankle joint so less is more take time be kind to your body and it will so respond and reward you with all those great benefits that you can get when you walk with walk active so I hope you found this helpful a little troubleshooting just to help help ease any discomfort that you might have in the front of your leg. So from me to you, walk out to coach, global greetings.